Hello everyone, good day. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King, who shall return. So, uh, these, these things laid on my heart to say, so I'm just going to say it because I do not want to disobey the Lord at all. So people, anything that come into your mind to say and you know it must be from God, say it. Do not hold it back. Do not keep it. The Lord said quench not the spirit. So you just have to do what the Lord tell you to do and say what the Lord tell you to say. Okay. So first of all, um, I have many things to say. Many different, different things to say. First of all, uh my husband dream yesterday uh he will not come on youtube and tell y'all no way he's not gonna do it he's shy and nervous in doing uh these stuff of coming on on camera on youtube and stuff <laughs> he's he will not do that so yeah so i have to just tell you uh what you know goes on of what he's saying so anyway he dreamt of uh the end days the last days when the lord god come um carrying up his people rapture yeah the rapture <laughs> i i almost forgot it i did remember and then just know when i'm saying it I end up forgot. So it just come to me again. The rapture. My husband dreamed yesterday of the rapture. He said he saw uh, a light of many colors from the sky. And um, he saw many stars coming. Um, coming down from heaven. Coming down. They were moving uh, all over the place. And he was going up and he saw a city when he go up. He said uh, there was a city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he was dreaming about the rapture. There's a whole lot more things to this dream. But I don't remember anything else. <laughs> So this dream definitely sounds like the rapture he was dreaming about. So it is definitely sure and true that Jesus Christ shall return. The Lord God shall come on judgment day. The day of the Lord is near. As what Revelation chapter 16 verse 15 says. Behold I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth. And keep it his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So listen, the Lord God is near. The day of the Lord is at night. The kingdom of God is at night. The day of the Lord is near. Yes. So I'm telling you, I dream of it. No, my husband dreaming of it. That mean, and everyone dreaming of it, that mean, the Lord is telling us that he is near. That judgment day is near. That it is about to go down. The earth will reform. There will be a new heaven and a new earth. God will take up his people and cast who to cast in hell. It is going to happen. It's about to go down, people. It is near to happen, okay? Don't think otherwise. Do not think otherwise, okay? These are the signs that you see happening. What happened then is happening now, right? Uh in in like what you see right here in revelations it's in revelations of all these things that are that will happen right all these things in revelation the book of revelation okay 
So, read Revelation, people. Uh, anyway, um, people, cover your house and your family with the blood of Jesus. If you want to use olive oil, use olive oil and anoint your doorposts, people. Anoint your doorposts and plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your doorposts and over your home. I mean, ask the Lord Jesus for his blood to be upon your home and covering your home and anoint your family okay put the olive oil on your door post anoint your family with the olive oil ask jesus christ to cover you and your family with 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 his blood so that these viruses and plagues don't reach you nor your family nor your household okay the, the, yeah, they will pass over it. The spirit and angels will pass over it. The dead angel will pass over you and your family and your home when the blood is covering your home and when the Lord Jesus Christ covering you and your family. Okay. They will see the blood upon the doorpost and pass over it. Okay. So what happened then is going to happen now, okay? Uh, the things that happened in Egypt with the plagues and all types of death and the blood in the river and yes, and the bugs and everything happening of Pharaoh keeping God's people. It's happening now. It's happening now. What you, you, you see these things happening now. It, it, it has already happened with um, Bloody River and River Turn Red and uh, Lake and, 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 and Sea Turn Red. And yes, it, it has already happening. It is happening now. It happened recently. And all these things is happening now. Okay. Of what happened then in Egypt, it's happening now. But then it was Pharaoh, the wicked king, the wicked, wicked ruler, and is, um, uh, is, 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 um, the people who work for him had God's people in captive and in bondage, treating them like slaves, whipping them and working them hard and stuff. So, uh, when God wanted his people back and he never wanted to give God people back, the Lord God said all those plagues and all those things and death and uh, the river turned blood, uh, all those things happening, right? And it is going to happen now. It's just that fear is the wicked people that God wants to uh, let go of his people. Because the wicked have rule over us in in business places, right? In or institutions, you know, in schools, businesses, institutions, those things. We have to be working for them. And God is tired of those people be in charge of us in the business sector I'm talking about. So it's like that, you know, with fear of controlling God's people back in the day is, is like that happening now. So that's why the Lord God sending these plagues and things to kill off all these wicked people who don't want to repent. Like when Pharaoh did not want to listen to God and did not want to repent, did not want to let go of his people. So now it's happening all over back again. What happened then is happening now. Okay, people. So. These plagues have happened. These things are happening now of what happened in Egypt for the wicked to let go of God's people. Okay. And not want to try to control us. And th the Lord God don't want them to be in charge anymore. They need to repent if they don't want to die. And if they don't repent, they will perish. Okay. Yes. Yes, thus say it, the Lord, I'm telling you. Yes, the wicked shall perish. The Lord God says so. So they they better repent and let go of God's people if 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 if, if they want their lives to be spared. Okay. So 
All I know that the wicked is going to perish because they don't want to repent. So, and God's people will be free from them. Okay. And we are going to have rulership over them. The tables are going to turn and we are going to have rulership over them. When they come down, we are going to go up. God's people going to go up. Yes. We're going to go through, go to, um, go to that promised land. And we're going to reach to the promised land and we're, we're, we're going to be drinking milk and honey and, and they will not have rule over us anymore, nor be controlling us in the business sector and in, in institutions. And we are going to be the one who have the control and the managerial positions in the business sector and the, in the institution. And we are going to be free from them and, Yes, God is going to get what he wants because he's tired of these wicked people not repenting of the, their sins and, and, and want to have rulership controlling God's people and all these bad things that they're doing, you know. And um, so, yes, that is not good for them. Good for us, but not good for them. So, anyway, I see... A vision uh, I think probably last month before all of this happened I think it was last month I got a vision of a man on a white horse a man on a white horse and he was like charging with a weapon that is used in the medieval days a long weapon that they had in the medieval days and he was on the white horse and he was like charging right and man on white horse or angels on white horse is in revelations i know of re i've read it in revelation yeah the revelation of jesus christ i know it is in the revelation of jesus christ yes Of a man on a white horse. John said it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So read Revelation, people, if you want to know what's about to happen and what and what and what what yeah what will happen. Read Revelation because it's about the end times, the end days, the last days, the coming of Christ, the return of Jesus Christ, as you say, the coming of the Lord God. It's all in there in Revelation. Okay. So I also see um, in a vision a light, a light from heaven is like a glory light, is a is a good light, right? The Lord shining his light from heaven. I see a light from shining from heaven a couple of days ago, some days ago. So things, things is, is, is about to change. Things are about to change in April. In April, things are about to change people of God. Yes. Things are about to change in April. Mm hmm yes I can sense it I definitely sense it strong so the Lord want me to come on here to tell all of y'all these things that's come to me that's on my mind it laid upon my heart to see yes So um, let me see if there's anything else because I don't want to forget anything. Mm. Okay, well, that's about it. So things are going to change for the better. Um, for now, for this month, I see a whole lot of chaos and like uh the, the yes the supermarkets are getting empty and famine uh is happening and they are buying out the the things in the supermarket and i see 
the pharmacy gonna be like that they have raid some supermarkets and i see that people will also do that with the pharmacy the pharmacy is gonna be empty they're gonna raid the pharmacies some pharmacies gonna look like oh the supermarket look that's that's what i see yeah in a vision like chaos and uh confusion i see happening for this month with um you know with the coronavirus and 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 and, and all kinds of things that are happening of the signs and 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 uh the end times um plagues and stuff yes those things gonna cause a whole lot of reading of pharmacies and confusion and chaos and it's like craziness i've said it before the craziness happened i said it that it's a whole lot of weird crazy stuff gonna happen i said it in my previous video and you see the same thing happening <laughs> that people are doing a whole lot of crazy weird stuff regarding this virus and it's it's gonna be a whole lot of running up and down people gonna be doing acting and uh, chaotic and confused for this month and raiding the pharmacy like what they're doing with the supermarkets but but next month i see it's getting a little better uh in the coming of april when april comes so praise the lord god for that when it get better in april yes so thanks be to god for that when it happened yes i thank you jesus christ from from no yes you have to thank god for things from now yes before it even happens so hallelujah praise you the lord when things get better because <laughs> i really really don't like these crazy uh weird stuff that people is you know going out running up and down raiding the supermarkets and stuff <laughs> so I mean, even though these things bound to happen before Christ returns. So, you know, it's going to be like a normal of those who don't know, they will wonder what is going on. But for Christians who read Revelation, it's going to be like a normal. And we're going to know that, yes, it's because of end times. So, I mean, that's just it. Yeah so that's all that is on my heart to say so people read psalm 91 psalm 91 is a good psalm to read every day people you need to read it every day read it over your family read it over yourself read it in your home read it in your house wherever you're living if you live with someone lock up your room and read psalm 91 every day and 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 anoint the 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 door of your room and and anoint the door of your house or wherever you're living that with the blood of jesus you if you want to use olive oil and you, and you pray over it. you people you need to pray over your olive oil and ask Jesus Christ to let his blood uh, be in the olive oil and to cleanse it and bless it and let it be a blessing unto um, where you put it. And, you know, if you want to use it for healing, you say, Lord Jesus, let it be, um, you know, good unto you for healing and for coverage and all of that. So if you don't have any just pray for the blood of jesus christ to cover you and your home and your room and your family and your extended family if you don't have any olive oil if you can get it by it pray over it anoint it ask jesus christ to consecrate it sanctify it and read psalm 91 every morning people and 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 before you go to your bed people pray and say the lord is my shepherd yes say these scriptures every it's a protectance scripture psalm 91 and and also um 
the Lord is my shepherd uh, scripture is a very good scripture to say. So you can say it at night before you go to your bed, you know, other than you praying your own normal prayer to the Lord God. You know, you say Psalm 91 in the morning and you say the Lord is my shepherd at night. Or if you want to say the Lord is my shepherd in the morning and you say the Psalm 91 at night. I would prefer to say Psalm 91 in the morning because that's what I do. So that's very good to start your day off with a protect and scripture. Yes. So um, I'm helping you guys out in um, who don't know. No, y'all know. Yes. These scriptures are very good to say people. Yes. You got to protect yourself. Yes, you need Jesus Christ in these times, especially to protect you and cover you with his blood. Yes, that's all we will sub survive. That's all we are going to survive with the, with the Lord Jesus Christ and his covering with his blood. Yes. So have a lovely day, people. Jesus Christ love you.